the pleasure of so many good looking birds. Jack is under attack, or more precisely, Jack's veg. Actually, it's his eggs too. His business is veggie boxes packed with his homegrown produce from his plot in Kent. You can, well, you can clearly see their runs there, can't you? All along here. Kai and Jack are mates, so when the pests make their presence felt, he calls in this air armed hunter to make an impression. Kai is fresh from selling his own tasty morsels with his wild food catering company, so if he does the job tonight, there might be a radish in it for him. Oh, lovely, look at those. You know, you can dice the leaves up and eat them, and these are the French breakfast ones. The main problem is obviously I've, I've got the feed on, on, you know, on tap, so you, you can't really shut the feed up at night, which is a bit annoying. No. But that's, that's what they're mainly going for. And I dare say they're eating chicken poo and stuff as well through them. Well, they've got plenty of food, plenty of water. Exactly. And they're, and they're... Is the, whenever you keep livestock, it's the idea of that. Yeah. Is. So, I brought in a man who's got the right tools to... Uh... Where? Where is he? Is he? Yeah, he's coming in a minute, actually. How is he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The biggest problem is the rats under the hen house. They're ignoring the trap and just egg collecting. Kai is once again using the air arms with the night sight on top, but to make it more sociable, he's brought the night sight spotter too. I think it's great. Used it quite a few times now, and the zoom on it. Really impressive with Yeah, I mean, you've got like you got you got you got two you got two levers on it. The, the front lever does the zoom, uh, so you can zoom in and out. And then the second one is the focus, so you can put it out of focus and you can push it to the right and it comes in focus. So if there's any rats going to come out there, I'm definitely going to see them straight away with their eyes. You know, that's it's pretty awesome, really. The rats just aren't playing tonight, though he does get one. But the fun lies over the hedge. Rabbits, hundreds of them. As Kai starts knocking some down, some curious cubs come in for a closer look. Mum calls them back, but then Jack fires up his own call. Not the best we've heard. Thank goodness Kai finds a proper call in his jacket and we're away. Curiosity killed the cat, but this sub 12 foot pound air rifle is not the right tool to shoot a curious fox. I can't believe the amount of rabbits, Jack, you've got back here. It's amazing to think it's probably been untouched for a while, hasn't it? Um, some of them are a bit, some of them a bit beyond the range, but you can stalk into them. And um, we've seen some foxes this evening. We've seen like a, we've seen the vixen two cubs, and they've been around us all the time. Obviously, we haven't got the right rifle, the right tools for the job for those. But we will come back another day and we'll, we'll sort those out. Kai and Jack enjoy the spectacle, but there are more rabbits to be had. You know, what, what have we covered? Three, four acres maybe at the most. And uh, the amount of wildlife we've seen has been awesome, really. There's a lot of rabbits here we can take for the pot, so the hardest thing now is to try and find them because there's quite a lot of long grass around here. So let's try and get our, uh, our eyes on us and see if we can try and spot what we've shot. Kai picks the rabbits and we spot a hedgehog. A rare sight in certain parts these days. You've got more animals here than the, the wild wood just down the road, Jack. <laughs> Look at that, it's amazing. It's been a long time since I've seen a hedgehog. All these badgers have been eating them up. <laughs> it really has been a wildlife feast tonight and with such a glut of bunnies, Kai will be back. For more information about Jack's Veg Boxes, go to jacksveg.co.uk. For more information about Air Arms, go to air-arms.co.uk.